Hello, welcome to the HR Diary YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Excel's count if formula using these 10 examples. The Excel count if formula is for counting cells with the condition that you specify. Here, I have on my screen a sheet with some data. In column B, I have different departments here. And in this example, I want to count how many times finance appear in the department column. Just glancing at the data, I can see that I have three items that say finance. So I should be able to get three if I count it here. One, two, and three. To use the count if formula, first, click onto this cell and then type in the equal sign and type count if open parenthesis select the range of data insert the comma type open quotes and then type in the criteria which is finance Close quotes, close parentheses, and hit enter. Here, you'll notice that you get three. This means that finance appear three times. What this formula does is that for this range, B5 to B13, it counts for you those with the tax finance. Now, instead of uh, remembering the formula for count if, you can use the count if function. So now let me delete the data here. So to use the count if function, click on any cell and then click on the insert function, type in the word count if, Click on the go and then select the count if and click on the OK. The count if function tells you exactly what you need to enter in. If you're unsure what is, for example, the range, you can look down below and it will give you a hint as to what the range is. So the range are the cells that you want evaluated by the criteria. Here, I will select the cells in the department. Criteria is the condition that defines which cells will, which cells here, for example, will be counted. The criteria can be in the form of a text, a number, a date, a logical expression, like greater than, greater than or equal, less than, less than or equal, or just simply a cell reference. Here, I will select finance as this as my criteria. Instead of selecting the cell, you can also type in the criteria. So here, I will type in finance as my criteria. And then I click on OK. So here, it tells me that finance appears three times. Now let's move on to example two. Example two, I want to count if with numbers. Now count if also works for numbers. In this example, I want to count the number of two that appear in the job column. Visually, we can see that two appears three times in the job column. I'm going to enter the count if formula again by clicking this cell and typing the equal sign and then type in count if open parenthesis select my range which is d5 to d13 type in the comma type in open quotes type in my criteria which is 2 close quotes and close parenthesis and hit enter 
here it tells me that job level two appears three times. So it counts, basically it counts this column, D5 to D13, and it only counts when it is the criteria two. And I get three. Next, let's move on to example three. In example three, I want to count the number of job levels that are greater than or less than two. All right? To do this, I will enter the count if formula again by clicking onto this cell and typing in the equal sign. Then type count if, open parenthesis, select my range of data, which is D5 to D13. Type in the comma, type in the open quotes, and type in my criteria, which is less than two. And type close quotes, close parenthesis, and hit enter. So here it tells me that there are two in this list. All right, there are two in this list that are less than job level two. So less than job level two, there's only two, which is the job level one. I can also find how many numbers in this list here, the job level column, that are more than job level two. To do this, we just need to change the less than sign to the greater than sign and hit enter. Here it tells me that there are four in this job level list that are greater than the job level two. Greater than job level two, so there are four, right? You can use any other logical expression like greater than, greater than or equal, less than or less than and equals two. So this is example three. Let's move on to example four. Count if not equal to. In this example, I want to find out how many job levels in this list are not equal to one. All right. How many are not equal to one? To do this, I'm going to enter the count if formula again by clicking onto this cell and then typing in the equal sign. Type the word count if open parenthesis. Select my data range, which is D5 to D13. Type in the comma, open quotes, type my criteria, which is less than and greater than. This sign, this is the not, this sign here is the not equal sign. And then I type in the one, type close quotes, and close parenthesis and hit enter. Here, it tells me that there are seven values in the job level list that are not equal to one. So here, these are the seven that are not equal to one. All right. So you can also type in a, a reference cell to type in a reference cell, instead of typing one, you can type in a reference cell. So for example, I type, you need a N and then the cell, which is, um, you can point to this cell, all right? No, or perhaps uh, anything, anything you can type in um, N zero, 10, all right, which is this cell, and you hit enter, you still get seven. Because what is they saying is for this column, D5 to D13, you want to count if it's not equals to O10, the cell O10, which is one. So if it's not equals to one, you count it. All right, and you get seven. Now let's go to example five. Count if with wildcard character. In this example, 
I want to find out how many departments start with A, like audit and accounts. To do this, I'm going to enter the count if formula again by clicking onto this cell and typing the equal sign and then type in count if. All right. Type in count if and then type in the open parenthesis. Select my range of data, which is B5 to B13. Type in a comma, open quotes. And I type in A because this is the first character we care about. And, and then use the wildcard character. So the wildcard character that I'm using here is the asterisk. Type close quotes and then type close parenthesis and hit enter. Oops. Let's see what's wrong with this uh, formula. All right. So the formula is count if you select the range, open quotes, type in A. So this, because this is the first character that we care about and then the wildcard character, which is the asterisk. And then you close quotes and close parentheses and hit enter. And you get two. All right. Next, example six. Count if with the question mark wildcard character. In this example, I want to find how many two-letter words are there. How many two-letter words are there? So here I have one, two, three, four. So to use the formula, let's use the formula again. So here we type in the equal sign, type the word count if, open parenthesis, select my data range, which is here, type in the comma, open quotes. Here for the criteria, we are going to insert two question marks here. Two question marks. What the two question mark does is that it will count when there are two characters. One, two, all right? Any two characters, whatever the character is. Then you type the close quotes and close parentheses and hit enter. Here you get four. All right? Four. So they are four. One, two, three, and four. Now let's move on to example seven. Count if for non blank cells. In this example, I want to count all the non blank cells in the column name. So visually, there's only one non blank cell. So now let's see how to do it using the formula. So to do this, let's click on this cell and type in the equal sign and count if, open parenthesis, select my data range, which is cell C5 to C13, type in the comma, type in open quotes. Here we are going to type smaller than and greater than the sign smaller than and greater than. So what this does is that it will count when there are non-blank cells in the column C5 to C13, which is the name column. And then we type in the close quotes and close parenthesis and hit enter. So you get eight. All right, so for this column, C5 to C13, there are eight non-blank cells. Now, what if you want to count blank cells? So in example eight, I will count all the blank cells in the name column. To do this, let's again type equal, count if, Open parenthesis, select my data range, which is 
C5 to C13. Type in the comma. Type in open quotes and type close quotes. So what this does here, this open and close quotes, is that it will count when there are blank cells in this column. Right, then we type the close parenthesis and hit enter. So I get one. So in this column C5 to C13, I have one blank cell. Now let's move on to example nine. What if you want to count if with dates? In this example, I want to count the dates that are equal to a specified date, for example, 1st January 2013. So, let, no, let's do a 1st January 2023. Alright. We also do 2023 here. Okay. So, to do this, visually, uh, you can see that the 1st uh, uh, Gen 2023 appears two times. So now let's use the formula. Let's click onto this cell, type the equal sign, and then type the count if, open parenthesis, and then select my range, which is at the date range E5 to E13. Type in the comma, open quotes, and type in my criteria, which is 1st January 2023. And then I close quotes and close parenthesis and hit enter. So here, it tells me that for this column uh, and for this criteria, 1st Jan 2023, it appears two times. Now, let's move on to the example 10. In this example, I want to count the dates. Count if with dates. I want to count the dates that are greater than or equal to the specified date, 1st January 2023. So visually, we can see that the dates greater than or equals to this, 20, this 1st Jan 2023 there are one, two, three, four, five, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Is it seven? Let's see. Okay, let's use the formula to count. So to do this, let's click on to the equal sign, type the count if, then open parenthesis, and then I select my range, which is E5 to E13, type in the comma, open quotes, type in the, my criteria greater than or equals to first generally, 2023, close quotes and close parentheses and hit enter. All right. So here it tells me that the dates greater than or equals to the specified date, 1st January 2023, appears eight times. All right. So it appeared eight times because this is 2022. So from here to here, it is eight times. All right. So the formula works. Okay, that's it. If you find my video useful, support my work by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Subscribing to YouTube channels is free and you will be updated when I upload new contents. Thank you.